Hey everyone, Gamer 5v5 here, and this is Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Push this one, door opens. Found a key in here, do not need to stick around. Because it's suicide. Take care of all the enemies in this room. Open! Quit being careless. Ouch! Ah! Oh. Beat me to the heart. Oh well. And I have another fairy. Why did I just pick that up? Get another key in here. This dungeon's pretty linear and we're pretty much almost finished it, actually. A couple of arrows. Like these. Time to fight a boss. No need to use any item in particular. Just need your sword. No need to use the glove. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, just basically keep doing this. Still can't believe I killed that other one so quickly. Anyway, just one more. I think I'm doing pretty good. Grab a heart, and now pend it. Go for the last one. Which is in Death Mountain. No Gorons there, though. And we're not gonna head there yet. Gonna do some side stuff first. Heart pieces and all. Because again, this is a 100% walkthrough. What? What? I don't even. I still need the flippers. Which is what I will be getting next. Just head to northeast. Dun, dun, dun. Love doing that. So satisfying. Now we can head back here. Thanks to the power glove. Use the Pegasus roots. Avoiding those enemies. Here is some sort of a maze. I know exactly where I need to go, and that heart piece is teasing me. I'll be getting that very soon, though. 
a lot of heart pieces in this game to ease you. I think I need to head this way. To get the flippers, you need 500 rupees. I have well over 500. I want the flippers. Love it. Now I'm gonna get a heart piece and let's get out of here. Nothing else to do here. I'm pretty sure you can't get anything else important here. Pretty sure. And let's head to the waterfall secret area. I wonder how many people just figured it out without a guide. Throw something in. Whoops, 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 didn't mean to. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I mean. <sighs> Damn it. Press A too quickly. What I meant to drop in here was the boomerang, yes. We're gonna get an upgrade to it. Magical boomerang. Isn't it beautiful? Now it is faster and can be thrown farther. Still not gonna use that much though. He's one of those places we can warp. In here, we're gonna use a bunch of rupees. You can either throw five or twenty. The later you can throw either twenty or fifty. Boom. Just some fairies here if you need them. Keep it in a bottle. Gotta pay a hundred rupees. Why? So that way you can hold more bombs or more arrows. Gotta wait a little bit. Then you can throw in rupees again. Twenty rupees, of course. Take forever doing five at a time. Big trouble. Fairway. Just one more time. Twenty rupees. I barely don't have enough to upgrade again. I'm gonna carry more bombs. See, so, yeah. You know how it works, basically. So, for the rest of the time, I'm just gonna come back here off screen. Since you get the idea now. I barely don't have enough right now, anyway. One stinking rupee. So, 
We're gonna get another battle now. Come on. This way, this way. To the west. That means more berries. So yeah. Gonna do a few more stuff before I head into Death Mountain. Third and final pendant. Come on. There we go. Another heart piece. That's such a tease. And there's just a shop. Bombs a heart or red potion. Nothing down here. So, time to go north. Power glove for the win. Okay, why did I do that? Why didn't I just use the net? I don't need that many fairies anyway. I say that and I may actually lose them all. Not very likely. But I better watch what I say. And here's another heart piece. Found a piece of heart. Your heart level increased. So now we're gonna head to Death Mountain. Well, ouch. Better be careful. I'm gonna make some progress here later, so this is Game for 5 to 5. See you all in the next video.